and turning to weather now. It's been a lot of nice fall weather these past couple of days. It sure has, but I noticed that the uh, the trees are not really turning that like the fall colors yeah, a lot. Yeah, right. We're still waiting for like those peak fall colors. <laughs> what we really need is some cool mornings. So, you know, just talking about those cool mornings, we're looking at the first average freeze for the season, which is October 3rd for the Fox Valley. A lot of the years that we've seen in the last couple of years have been well further into October, but we might see some freeze conditions as early as Saturday morning. But yesterday, we didn't have any of that because it was quite warm once again. Highs managed to get up to 76, upper 70s in Minneapolis. There is a strong cold front, though, that will be moving in here heading into tomorrow. So today is the last day to enjoy the 70s if you haven't been able to do so. Maybe have the day off or a half day. Get outside and enjoy it because you know where we're eventually heading into. And if you like the warm weather, we have a couple more days before you know it really starts to get cold outside. 46 outside at the moment. South wind at three miles per hour. The dew point, it's a dry air mass. That's why those temperatures have fallen pretty quickly. Our sunrise at 655. We've got lower 40s in Mountain in Anago. Same thing in Clintonville. Wapaka is at 44. It is 47 in Oshkosh, 46 in Fond du Lac, 45 in Manitowoc. Visibility is not much of an issue this morning. That's great. We have dealt with some patchy dense fog in some areas in the last couple of days, but that has since cleared out. We've got high pressure over the eastern quadrant of the Great Lakes, ushering in some light winds out of the south. But this broad area of low pressures and its associated cold fronts will be moving in here come late tonight into tomorrow. Now behind it, it's going to be a cloudy day tomorrow on and off rain showers, breezy winds. But then high pressure will come in here from Canada and typically when you have a Canadian high this time of the year, expect some cooler temperatures across the area. Here's the band of rainfall at the moment in Iowa. Eastern Minnesota heading into western Wisconsin. That high pressure to our east will keep enough dry air in store to prevent any rainfall. And really, we haven't seen much rain in the last eight days. It's been dry completely in Green Bay, but that will change as we head into the next 24 to 36 hours. So heading into tonight, mostly cloudy skies. <clears throat> we have a dry day, so no problem whatsoever. If you have to maybe cut the grass, perhaps we've got some light sprinkles and move in here late tonight and then going into the morning hours tomorrow could be dealing with some scattered rain showers as winds pick up out of the north and northwest. A few additional rain showers are possible and then getting into Friday. Hugging right along the shoreline might deal with a few light sprinkles. Otherwise, we'll start to see uh, a mixture of sun and clouds during the afternoon. It's not a lot of rainfall we're expecting here. Most areas probably under a quarter of an inch, but there could be some localized higher totals always possible. And then if you're in the southern Fox Valley, perhaps not even a tenth of an inch. Temperatures for today getting into the lower to mid 70s. Normal high 63. We're running about 10 degrees above normal for today. But as those winds turn out of the north and northwest tomorrow, gusting your 20 to 30 miles per hour, that is going to drop the temperatures and take a look at it. Highs might not even get above 60, some lower 60s perhaps. That's why I'm telling you, enjoy the day today. Getting to 75, I believe that's our official high southwest winds at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tonight we drop off into the lower 50s, calm winds, a few rain showers start to move in here. Not a heavy downpour by any means and near 60 for tomorrow with north winds 10 to 20 gusts near 30, especially by the afternoon and evening hours. Going into the rest of the seven days, we hold into a few light rain showers on Friday and then some sunshine returns by Saturday morning, but with it, Temperatures we wake up to near 32. Another chance of some light rain returns Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday as those highs get back up into the mid and upper 60s. I can't believe we're already like getting into the 30s. It's scary. <laughs> Just Very getting scary. colder and colder. <laughs> Thanks, Gina.